Hello, welcome. My name is Carter. I'm a kid who builds things and I put them on YouTube. I'm also a mechanical engineering major at The Ohio State University. And uh, when I was younger, I was lucky enough that I pretty much knew what I was going to do for my major and for my career. But most people are not like that. So if you are thinking about doing engineering as a major and you're in high school and you're kind of at that point in your life where you're kind of freaking out about what you want to do uh, in the future, then this video is for you. It's just some bits of advice that I have after my four years in college. I've been a TA, I've done some research, I've done a variety of internships. So I've got a broad perspective, but obviously this is just one point of view, so some may disagree. All right, so before I dive into engineering specifically, let's talk about the scary college major decision itself. Um, it's just one small stepping stone in your career. So it's not life or death. I know lots of adults that retire in totally different fields than what they start out with. So while it's still a very big, important decision, you're not bound to do that thing for the rest of your life and the rest of your career. Lots of people make lots of changes as they go on. So you, it's important, but don't get yourself too worked up that you're just gonna be handcuffed to one topic and you're gonna do that for the rest of your life. When it comes to this decision, it's kind of sad to say, but I think that the biggest mistake that students make is selecting their college major based on what classes or topics they like best in college and not what major will set them up best for the, the most fulfilling career post-college. So like I said, college is just one small stepping stone in your career, and so it helps to totally ignore the college part and find the jobs you want to do when you're an adult, find the adults you want to be like, and work backwards from there to figure out what you should do for college. There are some really fun, interesting topics to study that are difficult to turn into fun awesome careers and there are some frustrating uh, difficult topics that once you master can be tools to do really awesome cool things in your career so think big picture think long term and find role models let's get into engineering specifically the major picks up a lot of the quiet math brain type people in high school who are good at science so they're told that they should go do engineering and those people do great but there's a lot of jobs in the workplace that are not just like the technical hard science, they're educated decision makers. So they know the science side, but they're not doing math every day. And uh, some people uh, associate these jobs with uh, like business majors, uh, but if you're an engineer, you're gonna have to talk to people too. The actual work environment is less math-based and more about leadership and communication than the coursework at a lot of colleges would lead you to believe. Uh, so engineering is good for more than just the techie introverted guy. If you're thinking about majoring in business, know that you can get the same jobs as those business majors. You can pick up an MBA paid for by the company later. You'll end up being more valuable likely than the business majors and you also won't be doing calculus every day. Another point about engineering is that a lot of engineers work on products or services and then they get to see those things in use. So they get to see the car that they worked on on the road or they get to see people using their tool or application or they can see that the manufacturing process they implemented has reduced injuries. And a lot of people think that their passion has to be like a topic and they're looking for their passion and they don't know where it is. Uh, but your passion can just be doing things that matter or doing things that help other people. And technology has pretty undisputedly made people's lives better. And that's one of the coolest things I find about engineering. And even if you're going into a completely other field, you're not going into engineering, try to find something that gives you a skill set that you can help people with because that will make for a way more fulfilling career. I could talk about this for a while, but I'm going to stop and try to provide some more concrete snippets about engineering. First, you're going to be building crap and figuring stuff out early in your career. If you don't like that, you can move into technical sales management or one of the other educated decision makers uh, roles that I talked about. Rapid cut. Two, you're going to be learning by doing instead of learning by reading or learning by listening. Three, don't choose biomed unless you want to do grad school. Four, if you're a bit uncertain about what field uh, within engineering to go into, a broad one like mechanical or electrical will serve you well. I can get jobs that uh, the aerospace engineers can get, but they can't get all the jobs that I can apply for. Chemical engineering is very different from chemistry, so if this applies to you, learn the difference. And uh, at least at OSU, the chemical engineers that are uh, graduating are very well paid. Programming is so, so valuable right now. I don't know if it will be in four years, but at least right now, the friends I gra have graduating with CSE majors are getting paid really well. They're treated really well because companies that just produce software can make a lot of money with fewer employees. So if you're one of those employees, you tend to be treated really well. 
You never know what you're doing, and then you go in and do it. It's a major that'll make you much more comfortable with uncertainty. Eight, experience is more important than GPA. The 3.4 student who has tons of personal projects and tons of experience working on club teams will get the job over the 3.8 student who never goes outside. You're not going to leave with a 4.0. Honors distinction isn't all that important. Honors programs that have project experience and teamwork experience, that's what employers care about, not the little title. And on to 11. Learn if the college that you're applying to requires you to apply to get into your major at a later date. If that is the case, know that you're taking a risk. 12. It's going to be difficult, but it's not stuff you can't do. Just got to put in the work. 13. You're going to have to learn how to teach yourself information from the book, from other students, from Khan Academy, from Paul's online math notes, etc. 14. In life in general, it helps to be tenacious. I applied to 28 internships freshman year and I got one call back. From the survey data that I've looked at, getting a master's is financially uh, worth it. Getting a PhD is kind of financially a wash in a lot of cases, although you might be able to do cooler things with that degree. 16. Be nice to people. It applies to everyone. Alright, so that wraps this video up. Hopefully this helps someone and have a great day.